the new horror barbarian is certainly a ride. But is it a good one or a bad one? A woman staying in an Airbnb discovers that the house she has rented is not what it seems. So really, you need to do yourself a favor and stay away from any of the trailers for this and just go in blind. Now, that being said, before you instantly click away from this review, I'm going to keep it spoiler free and then be incredibly vague for any details of the story that go past the synopsis that I had just said. This stars Georgina Campbell and Bill Skarsgård, and the setup is uneasy right from the start. Campbell is Tess, this woman who's booked an Airbnb, only to find out that it's been double booked and Skarsgård's Keith is staying in the house. Now, they work something out, but that doesn't mean that all is well and good. This is a tense movie, even though it's filled with character decisions that we may roll our eyes at. And I'm not saying the characters are wholly dumb. I mean, sometimes they do make intelligent choices within the story. But mainly, I mean, they do things that we're yelling at them not to do. But that's also what makes this such a fun story. We need some conveniences here and there to allow the story to move forward unencumbered by utter logic. I really enjoy the setups with the situations that our characters face. Almost every time, the story subverted my expectations, and it surprised me with a direction that I wasn't suspecting. Now, there are some obvious elements within this, so not every single moment is fresh and unexpected, but I found there to be enough to keep me on the edge of my seat and loving the ride that the story was taking me on. In the storytelling, I found myself pretty sucked in because I was drawn to the characters, their conversations, and then their actions. I kept looking for clues to point to what would happen next, but more often than not, everything is held fairly close to the chest to not give elements away. And for as much as I was enthralled in the storytelling, there are some transitions that are very abrupt and tonally different. When the first transition happened, I was taken out of the moment for just a bit, playing sort of a catch-up to reconnect with the story and then figure out where it was taking me. Now, this didn't take long, but the 180 degree change is certainly noticeable. But when the next stark transition happened, I was much more prepared, so it didn't break me out of the narrative that time at all. Now within this, just like with many horror stories, a certain level of disbelief needs to be suspended. There are portions with certain characters that seem to defy reality and then logic, so it does run the risk of ruining the mood and momentum of the story. But I found that if I just embraced some of the ridiculous aspects, it was much easier to enjoy it as a whole. And plus, when I look at other horrors where certain things happen to characters, I don't bat an eye, so I tried to apply the same sentiment here. And yeah, I do know that that didn't really make any sense because it was so vague. But if I spell that portion out, I mean, it just ruins everything. From a technical aspect, I love the lighting in this. There's so much that's obscured by shadows, but we're given enough light to see what's going on at key moments. And then the dark takes over in other spots to amp up the anxiety. Now, some of the cinematography is also really enjoyable, especially when it's putting us in the footsteps of a character. We'll follow along behind them or be backing up as they move towards us. And both scenarios create a tense intimacy. And then when that's combined with that lack of lighting, it can even become creepy. Now, this packs in quite a bit of uneasiness for only being an hour and 42 minutes. The story doesn't drag, but in some instances, it does skimp on some development that could increase the power of the lore that's contained within the story. Now, that's not to say it's totally ignored, but characters mention certain ideas that don't feel like they live up to what was mentioned when it comes time to execute. I mean, it's like something was teased, but then the final product isn't in line with what was shared with us by the character. I really enjoyed a lot of the dialogue between our characters. There are some very relevant discussions that take place, but I also appreciate that the film doesn't just rely on the dialogue, but it also uses the character's words to then create character decisions later on. I mean, it's both tell and show, which is effective, especially when it comes to one particularly just nasty character. Now, to add to the horror elements, there is some good use of gore. Some of the violence and bloodshed we see is obscured by darkness, but when it counts, the camera gives us the gory goods. And in these moments, I mean, again, some disbelief needs to be suspended. But I found it easy to do so because I was caught up in the moments and then just having a lot of fun. Now, there are a couple of jump scares, but most of them are natural and they don't feel cheap. They fit well within the storytelling and they didn't feel gimmicky. Now, this isn't a groundbreaking horror film, and it even lightly borrows concepts that we've seen before. But I had a lot of fun with the story, and I really loved the tension and the anxiety that was produced by some of the tight and claustrophobic circumstances. So overall, Barbarian is taught with suspense, despite character decisions that will make you want to slap them. The story took a few very unexpected turns, and when these are combined with great use of shadows and situations filled with menace, the result is an anxious and unsettling atmosphere that can make you squirm with nervousness. There are weaknesses within the story, especially when some elements are thinly developed, 
But on the whole, the movie delivers an exciting watching experience that should subvert a lot of expectations. There's no sex, a lot of nudity, a ton of profanity, and then a bunch of gruesome violence. I give Barbarian four out of five couches. So what's a horror movie that you've seen recently that surprised you with how much you enjoyed it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.